Well, I think what you see today is the uh, SNP establishment having nothing new to say on one of the most important issues uh, about their plans for independence. And, and look, what I said last week uh, and what others said last week was not decided lightly at all. It was based on some serious and deep economic analysis that showed that a currency union would be very bad for Scotland under independence. It would be bad for the rest of the UK too. And therefore, it's important where we can to be clear with people in Scotland that the fact is that what the SNP is saying, which is they could somehow uh, make the rest of the UK uh, enter into a currency union, uh, is just wrong. And I think if Mr Salmond wanted to make a credible intervention in the debate mm. today, what he would have stood up and said is, we know a currency union can't work, and therefore here is our alternative, perhaps a plan for a a separate currency for an independent Scotland, or to allow the sterling to circulate in the way that uh, uh, Panama does with the US dollar. There, there are alternatives that, that, are, that are on the table. I think that to go through the next 200 days without any plan whatsoever for the currency that would, f that would operate in an independent Scotland leaves a huge hole in Mr Salmon's plan.